Alrighty, well, thank you all for coming out, and I'd like to thank the Harguses for hosting us. It's very great to come out and do this. So, Mr. Rennie Nider. You're slacking already. <laughs> so, Rennie. I think we've had his name spelt wrong the whole year. Right. And he told me about a month ago, but we had a joke that his name was Renee, because that's how it was spelt for so long. But he's been great to have. So Michael came into the year about 240. <laughs> uh, maybe more. Maybe more. And I told him by the end of the year, 220. And he said, that's crazy. I'm not doing it. Whoa, it's impossible. Not those exact words. <laughs> no, you can't say the exact words. No. <laughs> Where's mom? Where's his mom and dad? <laughs> Earmuffs. Earmuffs. <laughs> but he worked hard this year and made it to state as a freshman. We'll talk more about it later. So here's our freshman. I'm super. Yeah. I'm super. I'll wait talk about you. <laughs> Eddie? You didn't get a wrestler? Dude, you went to state last year. Oh. I'm just going to do them all together. <laughs> Dominic? <laughs> Darren? Again, yeah, the junior. Yeah. Nope. I haven't seen Jack. Huh? Pretty sure I'm so Are you sure? Oh, yeah, Jack. Simone. <laughs> Simon should be a good one. No, I should have a wrestler. Yeah, coach error. That's not my fault. You, you got it now, though, yeah? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm not wrestling. That's fine. <laughs> 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 and then we're gonna... So here's all of our sophomores. Which, huh? Yeah, sure. Minus Jack, yeah. He's not here with us. Um, it's great to see a large number, especially at the younger group, because it just makes our program bigger and stronger. So these guys will stay together throughout high school, hopefully, and see them all at the state level. So our sophomores. Now, juniors, Nick. <laughs> Nick kind of had a rough year with health issues, so he had to sit out, but stay over here. <laughs> he was great to have, and unfortunately, we didn't wrestle in the district tournament, but we still had a great season, even if he doesn't believe it. Yeah. He did a lot better this year. Hey, you like me. Mr. JT. <laughs> I'm going to have to say JT might be winning the funniest kid award with his random comments all the time. He was a kid that I thought him and, I think, yeah, him and Rennie, mm -hmm. first day they started wrestling, I thought they were going to box. <laughs> they both came out like this. <laughs> so he's been fun to have. Connor? I won't talk about you. Okay. <laughs> Steven? <laughs> Mac. So here's our juniors who are going to step into the senior role next year. And again, it's great to have big numbers in each class. These guys are looking at being the leaders next year. So our juniors. Daniel Sun. Daniel's another one that got plagued with the injury bill. We only got him out for the last month due to rehab, but 
You made it to the state tournament again with the toughest district bracket around. <laughs> but he did really well at state. Um, I kind of forgot when we were doing the Buffalo Wings, I should have made him do them because he didn't go to and out like the others. But he was a trooper and did them. <laughs> so he had a great state tournament with only a couple weeks under his belt. He was a little out of shape. I'm sure he could tell you that. <laughs> the next one's Nathan. I'm going to talk about it. Uh, Nathan's been with us, just like Daniel, all four years. Uh, Nathan had a trouble figuring out how to be aggressive and mean. And there's about three tournaments that stand out this year that he was aggressive and mean. But he's known around the state, at least in a group of coaches, as the Iron Cross man. <laughs> he always tries the Iron Cross. So he didn't have quite the state tournament he wanted, but it was still another good, good showing. Just got tough draw. <laughs> <laughs> Dalton. Oh, darn, that's on video. <laughs> uh, Dalton's another one that's been with us all four years, and I think he just started realizing that he could do something with it this year. And he really was showing great progress this year. Again, got hit with a hard bracket at districts and especially as a senior it's hard to lose and then it's hard to come back and get that third place and that's where we got stuck and the last one Saul Boyne so Saul's tradition every year has been coach I'm not wrestling I'm going to play basketball <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> so this year he decided to take almost a month off at the beginning and decided to work his way up to the mat room. And he carried on the, the lane tradition of placing at state their senior year. <laughs> Simon, hopefully you can break it in place earlier. We'll try. <laughs> so here's our seniors. It's sad to see them go, but they've done some great work over the four years. And then, the really neat thing as a coach, and one of the goals that we had early on was to be the Dairy Farmers of Oregon recipients, which is the highest GPA, uh, combined GPA of the whole team in the state. And we tied for sixth in the 3A division. <laughs> So, but you guys still get something. Can you put everybody on it? <laughs> <laughs> Even you, Saul. Uh, but first, this next award is just the SCL, the Southern Cascade, Southern Cascade League Award for uh, 3.5 or higher GPA. So these are the ones that might have helped you, Saul Belaine. Uh, Nathan Harlan. <coughs> No, you gotta stay up here. <laughs> Stephen Headland. Connor Lisney. It's tricky, I know. Yeah. Nick Warner. Dominic Leal. Rennie Nider. And we also have Kyle Stanton, who's not here. So these were our scholar athletes, the 3.5 or higher. Here's our state qualifiers, Tristan Ward. Tristan had a really good state tournament, even though he might not think so. He did go two and out, but his first match, it really looked like he was about to beat the kid. I think it was the first one here. Second. Second one. 
<laughs> and then he kind of fell asleep at the wheel. But now he knows for next year he can build up on it. I'm gonna put you guys at the end. Nathan. <laughs> Again, Nathan didn't have quite the tournament we wanted, but he still showed up again and showed a lot of promise. He was actually aggressive at the state tournament, even though he uh, got a tough, tough draw. I don't know if you realize that. <laughs> <laughs> Michael McCauley. Michael is a freshman that qualified for the state tournament and again at the beginning of the year I told him 220 is the weight we should be going I think he uh, noticed how big those guys are at heavyweight oh, at yeah, the they're state fatties, coach. <laughs> even 220 he was kind of small uh, Daniel Martinez heavyweight <laughs> Daniel made the trip again but again only a month in the room kind of hurt us. We won one and lost two, unfortunately. Uh, the next one, Saul Belaine. <laughs> what? <laughs> <I'm trusty. laughs> Saul came in last year. He fell short of qualifying. And I think it's always been a little little uh, frustrating for him, even though he's just out to have fun, as he tells everybody. <laughs> but uh, he continued on the Belaine tradition of placing at state his senior year, which is great. I know. <laughs> I'll stop talking about you. Okay, Matt Randall. <laughs> <laughs> and again, Mac placed last year, came into the tournament, and I think he got a little frustrated with that first loss. And a lot of times it's hard to come back and wrestle back through the bracket to get a higher placing. So he knows now, just we got to have a short memory, wash it away, and come back, right? Okay, last one's Connor Lisney. Connor's a kid that definitely changed a lot this year. Um, his mental wrestling and being strategical during his matches are definitely night and day different. Um, I was talking with a couple coaches and the team that actually won it, the head coach came told me, Connor's a top four kid easily. I was like, yeah, I think he's top three at least. And sure enough, he was third place. So here's our state qualifiers so we've got four special awards through wrestling um, this first one is a new one we haven't done it yet and it's the outstanding freshman award and I'm sorry Renee it's going to Michael <laughs> I'm going to tell a story about Michael. Oh, which one? So we're in Madras. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I still don't know which one you're talking this about. This is his first time making 220. And Dalton will tell more of it, but he was a pound and a half overweight the night before. And I told him, you need to go run. So uh, Michael's thought about running was to run to McDonald's. <laughs> And that one dollar any size drink suddenly came to his mind and he got a iced tea out of it. And then he was walking back. <laughs> Luckily one of our seniors saw it and Thank took it from us. But I ended up getting him a sweet tea. Yes! <laughs> Since he made me. That's all I got. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the most improved this year, we gave it to Tristan. Woo! 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 Woo!
This year, Tristan, Tristan's been around wrestling for a long, long time. He's kind of a veteran at it. But the big thing that's held him back is being aggressive and pushing the pace. He's always kind of wrestled into the other guy. And this year, he turned it on, especially the last three, four weeks. And things paid off for him, I think. Yep. Yep. Good job. The next one is the MVP award. And for me, MVP is kind of the leader of the team, the one that really keeps the glue together. Who is it, JT? I don't know, Connor? <laughs> it's Connor. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So, huh? <laughs> Connor was definitely the kid that stepped up and took the leader role. Um, coming in this year, I didn't really know who was going to be the ultimate leader that really got the guys going and took control of the team. And Connor really definitely stepped into that position and ran with it. So, it'd be good to see him next year do the same. Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, you, I'm freezing. I'm hustling. Um, one tradition that we started, I guess it was the first year I was here, yep, um, is called the Golden Hammer Award. And for some people that haven't heard of it, the Golden Hammer is voted on by the coaches and is awarded to the athlete that exemplifies mental and physical toughness on and off the mat throughout the course of the season. And with this award, it doesn't typically go the best kid. It's usually the one that just goes out and wrestles tough, wrestles mean, and just tries to break their kid each time. And I like to do a lightweight, heavyweight. So the first one is Connor Lisney. Mm -hmm. You don't want to come up here? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> warmer. There's one. Yeah. I'm trying to get you moved. And nice. the big guy is Saul. Blaine. So I remember Saul always complaining that he doesn't have kids to wrestle. Um, he wanted to wrestle against Lapine and he got mad. So, but he typically would go out there and try to give the crowd a show. He liked to lift people a lot. <laughs> so. He did what? <laughs> so he gave people a show with his muscles. Yeah. <laughs> so those are our winners this year. We'll put plaques on it. Thank you. <laughs> so I still got to get the plaque, but this will be hanging up somewhere hopefully soon. Um, I'd like to thank Cliff. Can I announce it? Yep. So Cliff will be uh, stepping down from coaching next year. No. We'll get him back. <laughs> All the tears. <laughs> we'll, we'll make him come back in five years, though. Yeah. Okay. And it's for basketball. Sorry, guys. Oh. 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 Macy's playing basketball. I gotta go be a dad. I know, right? Oh. Oh. So it's been great having Cliff for these three years. Been a great asset. So. <laughs> Uh, I also would like to thank. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone that helped out with the district tournament. I got a lot of coaches saying it was one of the best run tournaments, one of the best hospitality rooms. Ran very smoothly. So anyone that helped, even if it was just sending food in or working the tables, I want to take a moment to thank Sandy and Mike especially because. They were doing a lot of the computer work, and I know they were probably about ready to throw stuff at me <laughs> with running in like a hurricane running out. But it was a busy day. Yeah. So everyone that helped, I'd like to thank you especially. So. Good <laughs> work.